Hi, I'm Shelby McLeod and I'm a software product manager at MarkForge. Today, I'm going to show you how support overrides help you print the right part the first time. With Iger, you can quickly and easily create support generators and blockers in specific areas of your part. For example, you'll be able to block trap supports in internal geometries and unnecessary supports on small overhangs and covering threading, which either can't be removed or affect surface finish. Let's go into Iger and I'll show you how to create a support blocker for some trap supports in this part. First, we'll go into internal view so that we can see what's going on inside the part. I can see that there are some trap supports in this channel here, so let's create a support blocker to remove those. I'll just select the layers that support is generating in that we don't want. Now that I've selected those layers, I just create a new override and select no support. Now there's some support generated in this area of these layers that we do want to keep. So I'm going to add a sketch so that we can select the specific area of the part that we actually want to block support in. So I'll just select a rectangle shape and block out that specific area that we want our support blocker in. I click Finish Sketch, and there we have it. Now there won't be any supports generated in that trapped area inside my part. For more information on the latest and greatest in MarkForge software updates, ask one of our staff for a demo. And don't forget to follow us on social media for more updates. Thanks.